Javon is driving. Let's take this truck and put it into this driving scene, which is this scene. Let's click it. Oh, okay. But as you can see, the shadow is still there. I don't like the shadow. I'm going to try to tweak it again and see if I can fix it by going back to PIP Designer. Waiting for it to open. Click chroma key. Okay, mistake. Come out of this. Didn't mean to do that. Close that out. I need to click on the photo to go to PIP Designer because that's what I want to fix. I want to modify the truck inside the photo. Okay, let's see what happens if I pull it over. Now see when you do this, when you pull it all the way to the left, everything to the left. I hate when it starts freezing. It's freezing up. Okay, let's see what happens. Let's see what happens if I pull everything to the left. But as you can see, you see how that looks up there. I don't like that. That doesn't look good. Uh, and then you can see the green on the bottom. So that doesn't look good at all either. So what it is, for some reason, the lighting is not working so well in this uh, photo. Let me see if I hit play what it looks like. Okay, so it does look like he's driving on the scene, right? I mean, in the scene. I'm sorry. I cannot talk for all at all. Okay, I'm going to stop this. Let me try to tweak it a little bit and see what happens. Oh, nope. That took the whole back seat away. Let's tweak it a little bit. That don't look so bad. Now, because on the bottom here, you don't see the green. But this is not the way it's supposed to look. Okay. So it's at 29, 53, 0, and zeros. Let me see what happens if I mess with tolerance of luminance. No. So leave that all the way to the side. So it doesn't, that doesn't, so sometimes when you're green screening, it may not work. It may work and it may not. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to leave it and just hit play to it. And this is what it's going to look like. So the object of this is to find you a moving uh, background. And all you do is take a photo. So right now it looks crazy because the truck is too big. So I'm going to stop it. Or what I could do is I can shrink the truck down. Let's make it smaller. So when you do that, this is what sucks. You see how I couldn't tweak it. I couldn't get this part to look like this. I couldn't get it. So that's how someone will know that you actually green screened your photo. And you don't want it to look like a green screen. So sometimes, ah, did I do it? You see what I did here? That looks good. Let's try. Let's, let's hit play. That looks awesome. Wow. Now, I really love the way that looks. But the only thing, look, the truck, look, 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 look how big it is. So... <laughs> I don't know what I did. I did something. I tweaked it over here so I can pull this down. Maybe make it just a little smaller. And hit play. Let's let it drive a little bit. There we go. That looks amazing. So I could have even had another car on this side. Right here. So that's perfect for the scene that's going straight forward. So we're going to come out of this. I'm going to click OK. I really like the way that looks. So it didn't work for this. For some reason, it didn't want to work with that. So I'm going to do the next one with this, still with this scene, right? Which I have to get the other still picture. I'm going to slide this over because I want the scene when the truck is driving sideways. Here we go. Right up in here. I can split it in half and move this over. And I'm going to get one of these trucks I have to put into that scene. So I don't know if I should use that one or this one. 
So let's try this one first. I'm going to put it in the bottom, slide it over a little bit, make it the same length, and now I'm going to modify this picture into that moving uh, background. So go back to designer, picture in picture, chroma key, eyedropper, and click. Okay, so you know I have to go to the left and I have to tweak it. So let's see if I pull this all the way over. But see, you can see I got my boy Javon in the truck. Lisa is with him, but you can't really see her on the side. Um, when I pull it all the way over this way, you see it's starting to show the green on the bottom. So we don't want that. So I'm going to pull it and take the green out as much as I can. Sometimes you got to move it very slow. Okay, and then tolerance of saturation. Let's pull it this way and see what happens. You get this type of screen um, backdrop. This is what it looks like when you pull all of these to the left. It looks grayed out, right? We don't want it to look grayed out. So we want to pull it and we want to give it, get it back to the natural photo. There we go like that. Let's see if I can pull this all the way over. So it may not completely work perfectly, but we can try. Let's see what happens if we press play to see if it can drive. Play. It's not playing. It's supposed to be me. Okay, there we go. It's moving. So guys, being that I'm new at learning how to do green screen, like on this end part, I'm just showing you how I actually made the car move in the driving scene where you'll see there's a green st string that's there that I attached to the bottom of the truck. Okay, anyway, thanks so much for watching, guys. See you next time.